Now you need to know about smoking and the effects of smoking on the lungs and the effects of smoking on the cardiovascular system. Now let's look at the gas exchange system first, the lungs. There's three real conditions you've got to know uh, about in, in detail. Lung cancer, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. So starting with lung cancer, now tobacco smoke and tar contain loads and loads of chemicals and some of these chemicals are cancerous. What that means is they can cause tumours to develop, they can cause your cells to mutate and tumours to grow. We call these cancer causing chemicals carcinogens. You can see on this picture here this huge mass, this tumour that has formed um, in this diseased lung. You can also tell it's a smoke sun because it's so black because of all the tar inside there. So that is lung cancer and that can then obviously cause lots of problems with to have a big lump in your lungs like that. Chronic bronchitis, well in order to understand chronic bronchitis you really need to know how the lungs function normally first. In a healthy lung the bronchi and the bronchioles are covered, the lining of them, with these tiny little microscopic hair called cilia. Now these cilia are constantly wafting, and what they are wafting is mucus. You're, you've got other cells called goblet cells which are secreting mucus, which is trapping all the dust and all the dirt and all the bacteria in them, and then the cilia waft the mucus up into your mouth so you can swallow it down into your stomach where the bacteria can be killed by the acid. Now this is so important because your lungs are a dead end. If something goes into your lungs, there's no way out. If it goes into your stomach, there's two ways out, you can come back out that way or can go out the other way. So it's not that serious. But if something goes in your lungs, you get a very serious infection. So you've got these, uh, this mucus there to stop that process happening. However, when you smoke, the cilia get paralyzed. The tar causes the cilia to stop working. If they're not working, the mucus doesn't get moved. It stays there. You end up getting lots and lots of chest infections and bacteria. The tar also irritates the lining and you produce even more mucus which gets trapped. So eventually you develop this cough to try and shift the mucus all the time. We call it smoker's cough. And we call this whole process chronic bronchitis. This inflammation of the bronchi constantly. It's chronic. It doesn't go away long term. Lastly, emphysema. Now this is a horrible disease caused by smoking where your alveoli start to burst and fuse together. Now that massively reduces the, air, the surface area for gas exchange in the lungs. The sufferer won't be able to carry out any basic tasks like walking um, due to this lack of oxygen and there's no cure for it. And you can see in this lung here these big, um, these big holes in the lung essentially where all the alveoli have burst and in this case they're all full of, that, of tar from the cigarettes. That's why they're black like that. Not very nice. What about effects of smoke on the circulatory system? Well, smokers are actually six times more likely to suffer a heart attack than non-smokers. And that's for a few reasons. We'll look in detail at something called coronary heart disease. Now, coronary heart disease is where you get loads of fatty deposits in your arteries, in your coronary arteries, the ones that supply the heart itself. Now, if you get these fatty deposits, it can block blood flow to the heart and you can end up getting a clot maybe, which could completely block off the artery and then the heart will be starved of oxygen and you can get a heart attack, that's how heart attacks occur. Now the problem is that when you smoke, carbon monoxide binds to haemoglobin and you form what's called carboxyhemoglobin instead, but basically what that means is that you cannot carry as much oxygen around. If there's not enough oxygen, your heart goes, well I need to work a bit faster, I've got to get more oxygen around, I'm going to beat faster and I'm going to increase the blood pressure. Now that's not good because it can damage the artery wall and it makes these clots even more likely to happen. Also, the nicotine, the addictive drug in that cigarette, actually makes blood cells even stickier and it makes the blood vessels even narrower, which is called vasoconstriction. So higher pressure, heart beating faster, damaging the artery walls, making blood cells more sticky and making this tube smaller, much, much higher chance of getting a blood clot forming because of these things and end up ending up having a heart attack.